Hey guys, uh, we're going to be looking at um, differentiation using product rule in this session. Uh, let's get started. Now in this example, I want to differentiate 2x squared multiplied by 3x minus 7. Uh, normally what we would do is we would expand the brackets out and make it um, into one, one simple function that we can differentiate. So if we expand this, we will get... 6x cubed minus 14x squared and now if we differentiate it we would get 18x squared minus 28x okay um, with product rule the way it works is when you have a function that is two products so in this case we actually have two products let me just show you guys here so there's one thing one function and there's another function where both of these functions are being multiplied therefore it's a product okay so how do we differentiate using the product rule there is a generic formula for this and that is if we have a, a function where two products of or two functions are being multiplied by each other then the differentiation of that would equal so we differentiate the first function and we multiply it with g which is the second function, plus the first function as it is multiplied by the differentiation of the second function. Okay, it, this is a lot easier shown in an example, um, so I'm going to show that in the next slide. So I'm going to revisit the um, first example that I showed you earlier in this video where it was where we wanted to differentiate this. So, as usual, just going to go through this real quickly. I've expanded the brackets out and then if I differentiate it I would get this alright now what I want to do is I want to differentiate this using the product rule so I write the function as it is now I'm gonna put f of x as 2x squared and g of x as 3x minus 7 so because there are two functions that are being multiplied therefore I'm gonna use the product rule so if I differentiate f of x I get f dash of x is equal to 4x and if I differentiate g of x, so g dash of x would then equal 3. Now, the formula states, this is what the formula is, the generic formula, where is it, let's just get that down first. We got f dash g plus f of g dash. So all it is is we just needed to replace all these things where they are supposed to be. So for example, f dash is 4x. So there's the 4x. g is equal to 3x minus 7. So this will be mu multiplied by 3x minus 7. Plus, f was 2x squared. And g dash of x was 3. Now, expanding, expanding the brackets out, we're going to end up with 12x squared minus 28x plus... 6x squared. Simplifying this, we're going to get 18x squared minus 28x. And as you can see, both of these answers are the same. Now the reason we use the product rule is so if we can't actually expand the brackets out. I mean, if we can't simplify the brackets, uh, then we can't actually differentiate. So I'm going to show you another example. So one of the primary reasons we use product rule is when we have to differentiate these sort of functions here where we, I mean, trying to ima can you imagine trying to expand this? I mean, this is going to take a whole lot of time. So I guess this is where the product rule comes, comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have f of x, which is going to be 2x plus 3 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to differentiate f, f of x. Um, obviously I've got to use the term the chain rule here which means f dash of x would equal 4 multiplied by 2x plus 3 to the power of 3 and multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's inside the bracket so which is 2 and of course simplifying this I'm gonna get 8 2x plus 3 cubed now the next thing I want to do is I want g of x so g of x is x plus 2 squared 
and now I want to work g dash of x. I want to differentiate g of x. So g dash of x would equal 2 x plus 2 to the power of 1 and that's going to be multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's inside the bracket. Well, in this case it's 1. So simplifying this, g dash of x is 2 times x plus 2 or 2x plus 4. Okay, now we have everything we need. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the formula in. There's our formula. Now we just need to replace every one of these elements. So f dash is 8 2x plus 3 cubed. g of x is x plus 2 squared plus f which is 2x plus 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by g dash of x which is 2x plus 4. Uh, you might want to actually stop here because um, with differentiation we don't we don't need to simplify our answers right to the final end this would be an acceptable answer so as you can see trying to expand this out again it's it's a, it's a it almost becomes a waste of time so this is where you leave it and that's pretty much what product rule is guys so if you have two functions that are being multiplied to equal another function then you differentiate the first one uh, leave the second one as it is plus Leave the first one and then differentiate the second one as the formula right here. Where is it? There we go, that one there. Just got to remember that. All right, that's all from this session. Thanks for watching, guys.